I have a strange dilemma that I'm dealing with right now. I went from Canon to Fuji because I love everything about Fuji, but now with some of the focusing issues that we're having on how it's focusing, I'm comparing Nikon and Sony to my Fuji and I don't know what to do. Can you help me? So here's the deal. I am a working pro photographer of 30 years. I just made 30 years. And something that people aren't talking about when they discuss being self-employed in general, especially when you're dealing with the contract world that I live in. You know, we have contracts for our weddings. We have contracts for our commercial events and private events. And those contracts are a way of both parties being held responsible for doing their part, okay? And all the horror stories that you're hearing about um, photographers, younger photographers, I don't know, things happen just out the blue and you got these issues. Well, those issues are usually stated in the contract, the what ifs, you know, if this happens, then this shall happen kind of thing. That's what a contract is. So I am held accountable for the quality of my work, for how I work, for how I dress, for my demeanor. It's like everything that they are paying for is listed in this contract. So when I talk about cameras, and when I talk about the ability to get the shot and focus and, you know, just do, do your job, man, um, it's a big deal. It's a very big deal to me. So when Fuji recently had their upgrades in firmware affect their autofocusing, it was messing with my mind because I love my X-T4 and I uh, still love my X-H2S. Now for me, okay, and everybody watching this video right now, we're not talking about video. We're not talking about continuous focus. I'm talking what I'm used to, that one box, single AF, um, just work, you know? I am very, very used to focusing where I wanna focus and work. Now, I have not rented the Sony yet, and I'm dying to. My buddy Ken Schellenberg stopped by the house a couple of weeks ago, and he showed me the new Nikon Z8 and the um, Sony A7R5. And the focusing is unbelievable. Like, like, it's just unbelievable. But I didn't have a chance to use it in the field yet. So I need to rent it for a real job, because that is honestly how you know the equipment will do what you need it to do, okay? Now, back up for a minute. I love my Fuji files. Now, to explain really fast, I am a raw shooter, okay? I am a manual shooter on the camera. You can give me any camera and I'm gonna tell you, put that thing on manual, I'll take it from here. I don't care about all your damn program settings because I like being in complete control. I like exposing for the light the way I want to, not how the camera thinks it should be done. You know what I mean? And all of this, we'll fix it later in post, is bull crap, you know? Stop, man. Be the photographer and do it on the job. Do it while your client is in front of you. Stop, pause, fix the jackets. Get the cigarette buds out of the way. I mean, do your job as a pro photographer. Anyway, that's a whole nother video. But for me, the firmware upgrade of 7.0 did help. It did help. Things are much more sharper than they were before. Um, I was nervous before. Like, I was like, before I upgraded 7.0, and I was really afraid to do that, honestly. Before that, I was wondering, I'm getting these shots, and I got that thing where Fuji cameras, the, the eye box will track them, like, perfectly. Like, it, they, they look great. But then you get home, and they weren't. And I'm like, okay, well, how much of this is user error compared to the camera itself? You know, well, lo and behold, a few were completely my fault and a bunch should have been tack sharp. And I was even taking my time, holding my breath, you know, making sure I'm holding still. 
and some of those were still out. After the upgrade of 7.0 on the single AF focus, okay, that's how I shoot. These look great. These look great. Now, all I have to do is my part, you know, make sure that the camera's not moving while I'm squeezing the shutter and I should get sharper images. And um, these images that I'm showing you here are just some recent jobs. I'm totally happy with them. However, however, when I zoom into a face, I really want the eyes to look better than they do now. And that is where I am considering Nikon or Sony. I don't have the money to rent both cameras. I mean, for me to rent the Sony camera for like three, four days, including tax and shipping, you're looking at $304 or so from like lens rental, um, which is still better than buying the darn thing. When Ken stopped by the house, both of those cameras were awesome. Now, I can tell you this. Everybody talked about Sony colors, okay? Well, the newer Sony cameras, their color science has been tweaked. It looks better. Like, out the camera, go. So one more thing I want to leave you with. I work on Capture One. Lightroom does not like Fuji files. It, it just doesn't. I don't like Lightroom on what it does. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. Capture One has some voodoo stuff going on. My raw files get into uh, Capture One. They look fantastic. From the blacks to the whites, everything looks beautiful. Like I'm not doing anything to these files except maybe a baby tweak. Um, but I like true colors. Uh, I don't like that light and airy BS. Um, you know, I don't like my files to look altered, you know? The clients that I have and attract want real. They want the real deal. If the bride's dresses are plum purple, they want to look plum purple, not with that effect you put on it and it looks like, like that light pastel. No, that's not my client, okay? Nothing against those who that's your shooting way and that's your client. That's who you're attracting, that's what you are, that's your style. Fantastic. We're talking about me here. <laughs> Which would you do, you know? because my Fuji files look great. I can't, I'm just trying to decide if, is it a photographer wanting more? Cause it's not the client. I mean, I haven't had a client call me yet and say, hey, these aren't sharp in the eyes. Like that's kind of sort of never happened because we don't show them those images. <laughs> that's why we edit. If I shoot 200, you're seeing 30, you know, 40. Like I'm gonna pick the best ones. That right there is a whole nother video too do your job as a pro and your client should only respect and know the best from you, which is why you work the way you do and your workflow is what it is and what you deliver is gonna be consistent to every client, every client. I don't care who it is. They deserve to see your best, okay? Uh, if you take 3,000 images on a wedding and you deliver 400 of the best images, they'll be thankful because they're not seeing how many hundreds that were okay ish stop stop at the ish <laughs> no more ishing ah, so look have a great weekend help me make up my mind throw some facts at me okay um you can throw some questions out also i have no problems answering everybody in the comments you know with the uh, youtube studio on the phone i could see who's commenting i can respond kind of quickly which is nice i like having the owner of the channel respond to their viewers because um, it's genuine, you know, and I respect that. I've been on YouTube for what, four or five years now? And after a couple hundred videos, I can tell you, I have personally responded to just about every single comment ever, like ever. If somebody re re comments on a video from three years ago, it comes up on my YouTube studio, you know? It's like, boop, new comment. I'm like, wow, that's an old video. How are they seeing that? Um, which is pretty amazing. So. Talk to me, all right? You guys have a great weekend and I'll, I'll see you soon. A lot more to come. What should I use? <laughs>